Hello, I'm Fred Medell, Head of Marketing for Tumi America. Today, I'd like to introduce a brand new product coming out very soon, sometime in late May, and that is the Ford GT Mark II. It is a brand new kit. It is featured on the Tamiya TTO2 chassis, which is an entry-level four-wheel drive touring car platform. So let's take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here we have the kit box. So let's take a look at what's inside. And the most important thing here is most people are attracted to the body. So we'll take a look at the chassis and the body and all that fun stuff. So let's take a look at what's inside. So, you've got your basic parts, you've got your screw bag, your bushings, your motor, your servo saver, all the you know necessary parts to build your TTO2. That comes there. Body, it does come with the 3D um, light buckets. You can't put LEDs on this thing, but uh, it gives you the 3D effect once you put the stickers and paint this black. And then, because the body has like this very cool aerodynamic uh, form to it. You know, some of the separate parts are here for the side of the car, which is nice and cool. And we've got your typical TTO2 parts that comes with the integrated brake discs for a authentic look, your shock towers and stuff like that. It does include Tamiya's brand new TBLE 04S Ultronic Speed Control that is capable of running the brushed motor that comes stock in the kit. Or if you upgrade the motor to a brushless motor, you can change the mode and you can run brushless motors. Your standard TTO2 foam bumper to protect from impact. And here we have the polycarbonate body. Uh, just a little quick note for those of you who may not know, Tamiya's polycarbonate bodies use a very sophisticated mold technology that uh, uses three pieces. So what that means is to be able to get the nice detailed undercuts of the body in the back, the front, and the sides is the mold is three pieces. You have the center piece, a back piece, and a front piece. So to be able to get those undercuts the center piece comes down in the mold making process and the front and back pieces move in slightly so that the polycarbonate sheet, once it's vacuum formed over the mold, can be pulled. That's something that cannot be done with a single piece mold. So little trivia there in how Tamiya makes its molds when it comes to polycarbonate bodies. And as you can see, it is pre-drilled for your TTO2 chassis. If you want to put it on a TAO5, TAO6, TAO7, any of the TA chassis machines, the dimples are here so that the front body post can be mounted. Your standard TTO2 chassis, your scale looking wheels, the H parts, which includes the rear wing, side mirrors, and that extra piece that you'll need if you're going to be mounting Tamiya's aftermarket polycarbonate wing sets with the aluminum brackets. Your suspension arms, your tires, your drive shafts and four-wheel drive center shaft, and your motor mount and extra parts. Your standard TTO2 instruction sheet. Your instruction sheet on how to paint, prepare, and sticker your body. That's very handy, don't lose that. and the sticker sheet. There's both an A and a B sticker sheet. And what's most important is window masking tape so that you can mask off the windows. All you'll need is PS white to paint the body. You don't need black. Well, actually you'll need black too for the buckets, for the light buckets. So 
that's pretty much it. That's what comes in the kit. Pretty simple build, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so now that we've seen what's included in the kit, I wonder what it looks like built up. Let's take a look. And there we have it. The built up by yours truly, Ford GT Mark II. Here it is, and let's take a look at what the chassis looks like. And as we talked about in the what's included in the kit, you can see here, this is your basic TTO2 chassis. Includes the brand new TBLE 04 S speed control as mounted here. And what you'll notice compared to the previous speed controls available in our kits, that this is a low profile ESC. So it fits nice and snug there with your chassis. And because it does include a brushed 540 motor, the speed control is configured to brushed mode, and you'll see here that the wires are nicely routed through there, and you still have to put in your receiver, your servo, and of course your battery pack, and you'll be up and running. And you'll see here the body is completed. The only thing that you need is a can of PS white paint, and everything else is a sticker. So for those of you who are like, oh, you know what, I have a brand new for GT MK2, but I also have some other chassis. Well, what other chassis will this fit? Well, let's take a look. Okay, so you've just finished building your brand new Ford GT MK2 on the TTO2 chassis, and you're asking yourself, well, wait, I happen to have more of Tamiya's four wheel drive uh, racing machines like the TB05 or the T07. Well, guess what? Tamiya's Ford GT body is already pre dimpled in the front here, so it'll accommodate the TB05 or the TA07 or even the upcoming TA08, and it just fits right on there. Now, just a quick note about the TA07. The TA07 comes with a sensor guard for the motor. Well, you do need to remove that so the body just plops on there nice and snug. For those of you looking for higher performance out of your Ford GT Mark II, Tamiya does offer different wing sets made out of polycarbonate. And we also make two different um, wing set holders made out of aluminum to position the wing. Now, typically Tamiya's bodies come dimpled so that the wing mounts just go onto the Lexan. The Ford GT is a little bit different in the fact that it comes with this extra piece of plastic to be able to mount this wing onto this piece here which in turn mounts onto the uh, body itself. We've gotten to look at Tamiya's brand new Ford GT Mark II performance car. In the real world, this is a track only car. In the RC world, you can do whatever you want with it. You can race it with your friends in a parking lot. You can race the Tamiya Championship Series with it. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. So this is part number 58689. It has a US MSRP of $202, and it will be available in late May. So make sure to stay tuned for more videos. We have more stuff coming up. Thanks for watching.